So here I am, where I shouldn't be. Here I am, where I shouldn't be. Luxmore's Garden and Eton. Um, said, don't enter private land, blah, blah, blah. I remember 4th of June, 1997. It wasn't actually the 4th of June coming here. Pranks and all that. And what a glorious day it is. It seems like summer, not March. But uh, all the daffodils are out. Fills my heart with gladness. So I'm very joking to see everything. Spring has sprung. And then there's this fantastic bridge. That's that little message in Greek. And it says et Amerikam on it as well. So Annenberg, there, there, look at that bridge that I crossed over. The American ambassador, the Court of St. James, he had that put there. So Luxmore's that Eaton House Master about a hundred years ago. And he, this was just complete wilderness, a swamp. And he lovingly made this garden over decades. But you're not allowed to go here. Private land with permission only. Well, I had one permission once. I mean, what are they gonna do, tell me to leave? I thought if anybody sees me, I'll just pretend I don't speak English. Um, I've not seen any, any one of those security guards around. Look at this little gardener's hut. And here we go. Here he is. Is this Luxmore about to see? It doesn't have any name. Presumably that's the house master. Can you see him? Looks very dark, very craggy face who built it. And I remember coming here as a schoolboy. Look at that sundial in the middle of a the pond there. I remember also coming here furtively a few years ago and um, you know, thinking they've seen me, they've seen me ducking behind bushes and stuff. It feels so fun and naughty. Look at this, where is it? So, is it 1891 to 19, 1926, Luxmore's Garden? Okay, in the Roman numerals, because these are holidays and nobody's around. You think of a gorgeous sunny day, some of the beaks would be here. And look, this is it. And then just beyond that, you can see the houses of Eaton Town. And nobody's here, I can't believe it. I thought I'd have to sort of sneak in, you know, just after Christmas or something with nobody's around and nobody would care who'd be coming out or even in the hours of darkness. So that's it, I've made it. You know, forbidden fruit tastes the sweetest. <laughs> it's all the more fun because you're not allowed to be here, but there are no consequences. What'll happen if they find me, just tell me to leave, in which case I'll leave. And the greenhouses. So I was allowed to come in my last two years of school and John Connor was the only boy of my years allowed to come here in F block. And that's it is, and it is a delightful garden. Isn't that sublime? Uh, Demi paradisical. What an Eden it is. But um, anyway, we're not even allowed to enter by a certain bridge. We're going to enter by the Beaks Bridge and live by, leave by another. But um, there was only one bridge in my time. There was a forward, some boys from the nearby house, from Baldwin's End House had made. They put some sort of like bricks or whatever into this little um, rivulet that runs hard by. And you can't see it here. And sort of, if you go through the bushes, you could find it way to get in and out. Don't really know why they're doing that. Maybe coming to smoke here at night or something. So I remember there was a garden party in 98, my last 4th of June, and I didn't have an invitation to it. It was taking place here during the procession of boats. So they had to have sort of a yellow card or whatever. I did get a yellow card, but it wasn't actually the invitation, but I was going to just sort of flash it at the bouncers and make them think it was the right thing. But of course it wasn't the right thing. Anyway, maybe I'm a bit of a coward leaving. I hope I'm not too much of a caitiff to leave already. But they've cut back, that used to be just virtually impassable, which is why they could have that ford. The level of the stream is quite high. But here we are. Well, I got away with it. What a delight. So, a riverside pleasant it is. I remember various team photos. They used to come to Locksmore's Garden and they'd have um, the um, uh, east end of the chapel just behind them. So, uh, yeah, and I like the way it's a bit unkempt, the grass, rather long. It shouldn't be just all man a manicured lawn. Then it's too tame, a little unconquered. Let nature allowed to run free. So um, there we go. Well, what a rare delight that was. I'm glad I took that opportunity. But the choo-choos aren't running from Windsor. I'm glad the engineering works as, as usual. So I shall have to hasten back. And the vice provost lives over there with Sir Andrew Gailey last time I checked. An absolute prick. It actually kills me that he got that position. So there's a man and his wife and children walking by. I wonder if he's a biggest member of that. Or maybe say that you're not allowed to be here. Um, so that's it. We're beside um, Old Father Thames, the river that runs through my life. So he went his front way down from his source in the Gloucestershire out to the sea. The brew house, as if he really used to brew his own beer, the Thames water was too foul to drink long ago. And we had been drinking and smoking, being beaten because they thought the smoking tobacco kept the plague away in the 17th century. And drinking small beer, about half a percent alcohol. That's what a hop garden to grow hops. Seeing that's lovely to have Luxmore's garden from the other side.
the side. But yeah, these things used to be much bushier here. You couldn't see your way in or out. But these river completely, they've cut it down. I forgot just how small it was, the whole place. Um, I thought, well, will I be able to do this? I'm very glad I did it. And there's my, my trusty steed, my bicycle, which I locked up. Um, because even this bit, even this virgin part, and they were supposed to be here by the margin of the Thames. There's my conveyance. Can you see it? How about that? Old faithful, right? Well, I'll leave it a bit of repair.